Welcome back. This is lesson 11. So in lesson 11, we learned the second half to boil them cabbage down that we started learn, you know, playing last lesson. So um, uh, it is, you know, the, the tune contains of eight bars. And when we have eight bars to fill, you know, we had four before. So the first one was the second bar is this. And then the first one again which makes three, and then we have the D7 with the forward backward roll. And now we continue by um, uh, doing the slide again, and then doing the C again. And now we have a very tricky bar, number eight is a, uh, number, number six is a pretty tricky bar, because we split the G and the D7 into one bar. So that means we play four notes of G and four notes for D. So the four notes for G are the, is the slide until we reach the fifth string. And then we play the D7 chord and finish the, back, the forward backward roll with the four last notes. Okay, let's do, try that again. Got that? <laughs> it's, it's really new. New things are always difficult, you know. Um, take, give yourself some time. Just because I talk fast here, don't doesn't mean that you have to be able to play that instantly. Just give yourself some time. Just really figure things out. Stay ahead of yourself with thinking. There's a saying, don't get ahead of yourself, but that's, you know, just if the action is faster than you're thinking, that's not good. So uh, try for now, when you learn, it's important to always be in charge of what you're doing. Don't try to automize um, too quickly, you know, don't try to make it just, you know, sort of it just happens. Really think about it. It helps to remember. And then D. So you can sing that along again. And now comes something radically new that we have not done yet. And uh, um, some people would do that, you know, in the first lesson or, you know, but I, I thought it's time now that we can now learn that. We learn quarter notes. All we did now was eighth notes. We just play eighth notes per bar. But now we have to um, do quarter notes, which means they're just double as long. So we're going to start off with the thumb. And now you imagine the next note, just a note, just a, just a regular, just any note being played. Da, 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 da. And then you play the outside two, two at the same time. And it's called a pinch. Now, just, you know, middle finger first, thumb, fifth string. So, so you have da, dum, da, dum. And then you go with the index of the second string. And also imagine another note being played afterwards. Dum, bum, dum, dum. You could also count that. And counting would be like one and two and three and four and. So the ands are the ones that you don't play in the quarter notes. One and two and three and four. So let's practice that with just a forward backward roll and then doing this uh, this little sequence. So the last four bars played in a row sound like this.
concludes the tune. Let me play all eight bars in a row now. First, G, I go commentate on them. So it's G with the slide. Then C chord, forward, back, forward roll. G with the slide. D7, forward, backward roll. Slide. C. video I will talk about speed you know how to build up speed and how to be more confident with your right hand um, but for now you can also try something else we had the slide from the G always going to the four why don't you just try once and play the same thing and just do the slide to the three see how that sounds sound like when you play it um, sort of up to speed a little bit all right good luck with it and uh, don't get discouraged again you know just stay with it it will be fine it will be fine don't worry all good <laughs> 